Hey guys, I'm not home this week so this video is going to have to be fairly short otherwise I'm not going to be able to upload it on the really crappy internet that's here. But let's see how it goes, I've got a few things to talk about. First of all, Jasmine, hi, welcome back, it's good to see you posting videos again. And secondly, it really sucks being Thursday on this channel sometimes because with the Doctor Who episode coming out Saturday, um, if Kayla reviews it Sunday and Lynn, wherever she is, comes back and reviews it Monday, Jasmine Tuesday, Stacey Wednesday, then pretty much everything you could ever think about to discuss about the episode has been discussed by the time it gets to me. So I always have to try and come up with a few different things to say and hopefully I've come up with a few. Um, so I won't try and repeat a lot of things that other people have said before because that's probably a bit boring. Generally as a whole I really liked the episode. I thought it was a great way to kick off the second part of the series and even though the title wasn't really that relevant to the video, it just kind of... It was a little bit of a trick, really, to make us think that we were going to be watching a video all about Hitler, and then, actually, in reality, he just gets locked in a cupboard for an episode, which I found quite funny, actually. The Doctor's line, Rory, put Hitler in that cupboard, and um, Rory's line, shut up, Hitler, just brilliant. They had me laughing quite a bit. Um, on the subject of lines, uh, River's line where she meets some of the Nazi police, I can't remember what they're called, and um, she reels off this feel about going to this Jewish, um, gay, disabled, like, bar mitzvah or something. I just found that hilarious as well. I know it was a very small part of the episode, but I just wanted to mention when the voice interface came on and um, it flicked through Rose and Donna and Martha and the little Amelia Pond and me and my brother were both really rooting for Jack to appear because, you know, that would have just been awesome. I would have loved to have seen some Jack again. I know he's really busy with Torchwood, um, but that would have been really awesome. And can I just talk about Rory for a minute? I'm on Tumblr, and Tumblr uh, on Saturday night was pretty much a Rory appreciation night. Rory is just wonderful. Um, I didn't really like him at all to start off with. I thought he was just a bit of a boring character. But Robin, Robin Schneider, um, Robin is really funny, said a great line, which I think totally sums up Rory. She said, Rory is the Neville Longbottom of Doctor Who, which is so true. Also, another thing that's been brought up in some of the videos that I've watched about this episode, the whole death thing, and about the Doctor dying, and just Rory dying in, in general, it's just, it seems like death doesn't really have any meaning anymore on Doctor Who, because when the Doctor was dying, I was just like, well, I don't really care, because I knew that he's not going to die now. He dies at the lake, supposedly, you know, in America, so... I just didn't really care, I knew he was going to get out of it somehow, and it didn't really seem that important to me. Although this was a brilliant episode, I would really have liked to see another episode set in that same time period, because I think there is such potential for an amazing storyline, just, you know, revolving around Hitler or the Nazis or something like that, because that time period is such an interesting one. The whole issue with time travel and whether you can go back in time and kill off um, people that have done so much harm to the world, it's a little bit like the evil baby orphanage idea, I suppose, um, Getting going back in time and getting rid of, you know, these really, truly evil people in that way. Um, I would really love to see a storyline a bit like that. 